So these are my two boys and the reasons they stim. So I was out in public with my two autistic boys and this person comes up to me, looks at my seven year old and then looks at me and is like, he's crazy. He's crazy. He was just doing a little vocal stim that wasn't even that loud and he was flapping his hands. <sighs> and I wanted to explain to her why he was stimming. I don't think she even knew what stimming was. But just in case there's any other people out there like her with just some confusion on the subject, I want to make a video. This is my passive aggressive video for that person. I'm going to explain why my child stims. I'm not going to give you a long list of all the ways they stim. I actually already made that video. You can see that video here, 12 examples of autism stimming. This one is the reason why they stim. I'm sure there's many other reasons and please put in the comments if I miss one. My children stim because they're happy, because they're sad, because they're excited, because they have some kind of emotion that is hard for them to deal with, like jealousy, frustration, something's not fair. Maybe they're worried, confused, or scared. Maybe they're just calming themselves down because they're stressed or overwhelmed. Or maybe they're just satisfying some curiosity. My husband and I have five kids and our two youngest are autistic. Simon is our three-year-old and he has level one autism with no intellectual delay. Ezra has level three, and Ezra also has ADHD, apraxia of speech, and possibly OCD. We're not ashamed of their autism. We're obviously having a YouTube channel about it, so yeah. I'm not ashamed. This is one of the most adorable videos ever. Ezra is actually only 17 months old, and we're teaching him to walk with a walker. Mark, my oldest, who's now 14, actually asks us, why is he looking at his hands and going like this? He goes like this which is definitely a stim. And in this video, I answer Mark and I tell him the reason why I think Ezra might be stimming. Like, let's do it! Yay, Yay good boy! I wanna go by myself now and sit down. Ooh. Let's go by myself. Why does he stare at his hands all the time? We don't really know. Maybe it kind of helps calm him down a little bit, maybe when he gets nervous. Looking back at this video, I think that Ezra was stimming because it satisfies him. And maybe he was curious about how it looked, like how he was looking at it. Maybe the light was shining on his hand and he was just like looking at it. I could tell he was like lifting up his hands. So what I think is that he was satisfying his curiosity, which begs the question, why would any of us just do something for satisfaction? <laughs> Simon, our three-year-old, usually stims to self-soothe. So for example, maybe he has some high anxiety, he's really worried about something, something new happens, he has trouble controlling the situation. And so because of that high anxiety or overwhelm or stress, he will actually come straight to me and cuddle with me and he will play with my hair. Here, Simon's at church and honestly, sitting for an hour in a congregation like that, not being able to be loud and run around and play can be really difficult for kids. This is a stimming that really calms him. Ezra and Simon will both stim simply for like the pure joy of stimming. For example, Ezra will spin and you can just see on his face on this video, see how happy this kid is. make you want to like spin. Both Ezra and Simon love jumping and flapping their hands. One of the first signs of autism for Simon that we noticed was going back and forth because we lived in an RV about three years ago and we were traveling to all the national parks and every night as we were getting ready for bed he would go across the RV from one side to the other. It's really hard not to notice stimming when you are in an RV with seven people. And we post daily of our unique normal. So please consider subscribing. I will subscribe. And you might think that, oh, this is a total neurotypical thing to do for a kid. And yes, it is. But the frequency and the length of time makes it a sign of autism. This video is sped up just to show you how many times we'll go back and forth. He will do this for an hour or maybe more. And he'll do this at least every night. We've had the opportunity to read many comments on our channel from autistic teens and adults that explain that stimming will often help them focus. So the next time you see someone stimming, they might be trying to focus, they might be just happy, or they might be dealing with stress and this is how they self-soothe. Either way, does it really matter? Just don't come up to their mother and call them crazy, please.
Here's 12 Signs of Autism in a One-Year-Old, and here's our Autism Playlist.